It is time I taught you how to blow O's. My name is Vape Chilla, your average Pinoy vape reviewer, and today I'll be teaching you how to blow O's. So I've had a ton of requests on this tutorial, and I really hope the wait for this video was worth it. I'm going to try and explain how to blow O's the easiest way possible. There's three parts to doing an O. One, the inhale and exhale. So when you're going to do O's, you're going to vape as you would normally, or more specifically, mouth to lung. Here's an example. As you can see, that went straight to my lungs. Now the second part of that is to exhale a little bit of vapor. Now this is to make your rings a little bit more thicker. Here's a comparison. As you can see in the first one, my O's weren't as thick in the beginning. And in the second one, they were thick to begin with. So that's why you're gonna wanna exhale just a little bit. Second, the second part of this trick is your O face. Uh -huh. Yes, that's right. How you position your mouth is very important. Now the thing is, everyone's O face is different, but usually this is how it should look like. Now it should be basic on how to make this face, but if you're having trouble, what can I compare this to? Yeah, that works. Put a 30 ml bottle in your mouth. Or take your index finger and put it on your thumb right there. That's a pretty decent size. Ta-da! A really good tip is to purse your lips. Here's the resting face, and here's the O face. One of the most important parts to blowing O's is the cough. Some of you may have seen tutorials on the tongue technique, but personally I would say adapt to the cough technique. Here's a comparison. As you can see with the coughing technique, you're able to spam faster, your O's are faster, and you can do a lot more tricks with the coughing technique. Now here's the reason why this tutorial is so late. I don't know how to explain the cough that well. It's not really a cough, but a very, very small one. Maybe if you could hear it, it might give you a better understanding of it. Here's what it sounds like. Now if you have trouble doing that cough, Here's a couple ways on how to do that cough. There's this method, where you're basically coughing in the beginning and slowly reducing to a soft cough. <laughs> the other method is doing this really stupid laugh. <laughs> if you know how to do this laugh, you're in luck. Basically make it so you're doing a whisper laugh. <laughs> One important tip is to make the end of the cough sharp. If you don't know what I mean, don't do this. The ends of those coughs are not sharp. Here's what I mean by sharp. As you can hear, the ends of those coughs stop quite abruptly. So when you put it all together, it should look like this. From the inhale to the small exhale, the O face, and then the cough. So let's do a little bit of practice. So if your O's are looking a bit thin, either suck more vapor into your lungs, or exhale until the vapor becomes thick. So if your O's aren't going very far and they're dropping a little short, you might want to add a little more power to your cough. So if you're doing that, you're probably adding too much power to your cough. Fine tune it by slowly reducing the cough till you find that sweet spot. You might have noticed on that one there was a lot of excess vapor that came out with the O. This is what happens when your cough isn't sharp enough. Now if you're able to get it pretty consistent, you've probably found the sweet spot. Good for you! It is important to remember to start off slowly. You have to slowly build up to it. In my personal experience, it's best to take your time with it. Because if you rush in too fast, your O's aren't going to come out neatly, and then you're going to start thinking it's your technique, then you're going to change your technique, and that's just a really messy thing to do. So stick to the technique that works best for you, and slowly go up from there. Another thing to remember, everyone's cough sounds different. So don't try and copy others, try and find what works best for you. And most importantly to remember, keep practicing. Over time, when you blow rings, your mouth and cough is going to be automatic. You're going to be able to do the same thing over and over again. 
Guys, I really hope this tutorial was worth the wait. I hope I was able to make it as easy as possible for you guys. Just remember, if you have any more questions, just comment down below and I will reply. The next tutorial might be how to bend O's or doubles or triples. You guys decide. For all my Filipino viewers, this Sunday I'll be attending Vape Meet for a Cause. So I hope to see some of you guys there. If you like this tutorial, make sure to subscribe down below to stay tuned for more videos in the future. If you have any more questions on how to blow O's, make sure to comment down below and I will reply. I also have a Facebook page where I post extra content, so make sure to visit that in the description below. Till next time.